The Ethiopian government in Addis Ababa introduced a state of emergency in the country because of growing concerns about security following several protests. This is the first time a state of emergency has been declared in Ethiopia in the last 25 years. The death of at least 52 people in a religious festival has led to increased ethnic tensions within the country. The activists claim that at least 500 people were killed, but the government denies this. This comes after one of Ethiopia's largest ethnic groups has been fiercely protesting against the government. The Oromos make up over a third of the country's 100 million population, and yet none of Ethiopia's past or current leadership has come from the Oromo region. Protests started in April 2014 when the government announced plans to expand the capital Addis Ababa into Oromo territory. Although the government abandoned these plans, the protests have snowballed. At the 2016 Olympics, the Ethiopian runner Faisa Lilesa crossed the finishing line with his hands raised and his wrists touching as if they were handcuffed. This has become a powerful protest about the treatment of the Oromo people by the government. The government of Ethiopia, in trying to stop the Oromos from protesting too much, are forgetting that the Amaras and the Tigres also want a slice of power. It's very difficult for a government that's been used for the last 25 years to no opposition within parliament to actually face up to the fact that this may actually be splintering into a serious ethnic fight within Ethiopia.